Rise and grind. This Q&A is filled with a lot of questions that I get asked a lot, so hopefully this helps you out out there. If your question wasn't answered in this Q&A, go ahead and drop it in the comments below, and I'm gonna do my best to help you out out there, all right? So the first question is, uh, hey man, I'm growing out my hair. I'm trying to get the same cut as you, but I don't know how to style my hair in the meantime. And I'm sure there are more people like me, so could you post a vid on what you did or some great styles that look fresh for people growing out their hair? In the meantime, you know, I'll just rock in the fade. I mean, you can rock any kind of fade on the sides. You know, you can get a taper, mid fade, a low fade, high fade. And preferably for me, I like the mid fade, you know. I don't like it too low and I don't like it too high. And the top, you know, once it gets a little bit too long, you start wearing like those headbands. Not really the headbands that you see LeBron with, but more like the, the thinner ones. This right here is pretty much the style that I was rocking. Just keep growing out your hair. You might have to rock the messy look the whole time while you're growing your hair out. You know, you're gonna have to go through stages where. You have to look crazy for a little bit. Just whip it out. You know, once your hair is finally able to, you know, throw it in the top now or get braided and you're walking around fresh, you know, that's what makes everything rewarding. That's why, you know, I had somebody ask me at the gym or I, I forgot where they asked me, but it was like, a, you know, you think about cutting your hair anytime soon? I was like, hey, no, no, to the no, 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 yeah, to the no. And the second question is, did you zero gap your clippers and trimmers? If yes, please do a video on how to zero gap and please do a video on how to line yourself up. Huge subscriber and keep up the awesome work. Salute, I appreciate all the support out there subscribing. Yeah, actually, uh, zero gap my clippers and my trimmers. I actually make a video pretty soon on how to zero gap your clippers and your trimmers. It's real easy. You just gotta have a good eye to make sure you're not uh, overlapping the cutting blade, which is the bottom blade, from the top blade. Hey man, sorry to bother you, bro, but I'm very curious about your product. I'm an African male and I want to get a curly top. Right now, I'm at an early stage of having an afro. Should I use the cream and the sponge now or wait till my hair grows a little bit more then style it? What do you think? Can I have your opinion since you're a barber? And uh, honestly, if your hair is at least, you know, half an inch or an inch long on top, you know, without even picking it out, uh, you could definitely uh, use the cream and the sponge right now, the twist sponge. Cause your hair doesn't have to be super long to use it and just start training your hair to twist up. And when you're done with that style, just pick your hair out, you know, back to normal. All right, next question is, uh, how were you able to line up the front of your hair the way it is? I get that question a lot too, so that's a good question. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna part the front of your hair, and it's about, you know, one fourth of an inch that I will part it. So you will part your hair, and then cut the excess hair. And if you go to a barber, just have them uh, taper your front. It's just a way for, you know, me to have that fresh line up and that edge up. And I just like to be different, man. I like to style my hair where it'll stand out. And the next question is, uh, uh, how long would my hair have to be to braid at the top? And uh, that kind of depends on the person braiding your hair because, you know, I first got my hair braided at about four, but probably about five inches length on top. And uh, there's people, I remember in school, uh, my teacher, she's from Ghana, and she got skills with the braids, man. She could braid with, your hair is at least two inches, though, one and a half, two inches. So it kind of just depends on the person braiding it, but mostly, averagely, I would say four to five inches, so. Uh, this question is, I'm 26, I'm just now deciding to take a career in barbering, seriously. Do you have any tips for female barbers starting in the game? Side note, I love your voice over tutorials, can you do more? And honestly, uh, females, you, you guys got it harder than the males. I salute the females out there, you know what I mean? Uh, we need more female barbers out there. Basically, uh, my tips is basically for everybody, female and male. I mean, the number one tip would have to be uh, quality, so. Don't worry about, you know, how many heads you're gonna cut. You know, don't worry about how fast you're gonna cut. You know, you wanna take your time. So my first tip would just be, you know, take your time, learn the craft, and master your fades, your lineups, you know, your uh, shear, your shear work. You know, I started off, it took me an hour and a half to do a whole haircut. And my average time was about 45 minutes. Yeah, just take your time with your clients, you know, make sure the cut is perfected. You wanna have quality, so. That's the first tip. The second tip is professionalism. What took my game to the next level was, you know, I was a professional in everything I did as far as, you know, taking care of your clients, you know, always showing up on time for their appointments, you know, not just them showing up. Be professional to your clients, you know what I mean? Make sure you, you're, you clean your tools, make sure your chair is clean before they sit down, make sure your mirror is clean. Basically, make sure your station's clean. 
you know, your professional with your clients, you know, you don't cuss around your clients, unless it's somebody you know. And uh, just make them feel comfortable, you know what I mean? The person sitting in your chair, you know, paying you, you gotta treat them, you know, with the utmost respect. And our uh, next question is, uh, how long do you usually keep a hairstyle? And honestly, that's what's cool about, you know, having this kind of hairstyle right now. I would say uh, every other day I'm switching on my hairstyle, so you gotta keep it fresh. And the next question is, uh, should I keep my top knot even though my hair is thin? Uh, yeah, man, especially if you grew your hair out that long. Uh, just keep taking care of your hair, man. I definitely think you should keep your top knot, so. Uh, how long did it take you to grow out your hair so you could have a man bun? So basically it took me about a, a year to finally throw it in the top knot. And it was a little bit earlier than when I could actually get the braids, but you actually need a little bit more length to throw it in the top knot or the man bun, so I would say about a year. Alright, it's my man Doomsday, so my man said, uh, how often should one edge up their hairline? Me personally, I do it every two weeks. So, you know, I line myself up every week, and I usually cut my hair every two weeks. And this question is, uh, at what length did your hair start getting wavy slash curly? And what are some tips for working out? Take care, bro, much respect. I started growing my hair out, you know, this past year, and I said about six inches in length, you know, I started curling up. And it's crazy too, as a kid, my hair was mad curly. You know, I was about two or three years old. And my mom told me that uh, ever since my aunt took me to a barber and cut off my curls. And first of all, she went crazy. You know, and my mom, she loved my uh, curls. And ever since I had my hair cut, you know, I thought I had no more curls when I was, uh, you know, younger, always rocking the fades and uh, the seizures on top. And the tips for working out, man, is, you know, don't lift too heavy. A lot of times I see people when they work out, you know, they, they like to throw the weight or they like to just swing the weight with momentum. But uh, the main focus is to uh, use your mind when you're working out. You know, you gotta make sure you're squeezing with every rep. So if you're doing curls, make sure you're squeezing that bicep. When you're working out chest, make sure you're squeezing that chest to lift it up. And uh, eat right too, so make sure you're eating right. What are some of the results you have viewed while using the CP cream? Did it increase your uh, growth rate? It works awesome for uh, hair growth. It's been healthier and thicker than ever. So always make sure you know you use water before applying to uh, get the extra moisturization. Think of it like a plant, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta water a plant every day for it to grow. By damping your hair with water, you're basically wetting your hair, using the cream to lock it in. But the cream is made with natural oils. So using the natural oils as well to lock in that moisture and uh, feed your hair. Definitely look into it if you, uh, you, know, you want to grow your hair even quicker. How long did it take you to create CP? And did anyone help you create this amazing, I can even say product, but this amazing product which is working for my hair. It keeps my hair in the hair tie and keeps it hydrated. And I appreciate the support, man. It took a lot of work, so. Plenty more coming soon. Uh, it took me a year and a half to create just that one product, and it was actually uh, just myself, really. You know, myself, uh, my lady helped me, my pops, and you know, my madre, they all supported me, so. Yeah, I told you guys, it's a long Q&A right here. It's a lot of questions. <laughs> what do you do to keep your hair healthy and strong? I love all the hair questions, man. I'm glad you guys are, you know, worried about your hair at a young age, too, so that's what's up. So you wanna keep your hair hydrated by damping your hair with water, and applying CP cream to maintain that water. And uh, you don't want to shampoo and condition your hair daily. So I recommend maybe two times a week because you don't want to rip all your natural oils every day because that'll produce, you know, flakes, uh, dandruff, dry scalp, and dry brittle hair. So make sure you keep your hair hydrated. And depending on your hair type, shampoo your hair maybe uh, one time a week. What was your longest hair length and what is your nationality? My longest hair length is at the current state right now, which is about a little over nine inches length. So that's the longest I've ever grown my hair. You know, as a kid, I always wanted long hair, but I could never do it. I couldn't stay disciplined. My nationality, I'm black, Chamorro, which is Pacific Islander, uh, Chinese, and uh, Trinidad mix. So, yeah, your boy is mixed up. <laughs> Next question is, uh, are you going to make any more hair products? And uh, for sure, you know, that's my main focus right now. Because you know, I got a passion for creating quality. I want to make sure people that are using my products are going to be using a product that are that will you know benefit the hair as well as styling the hair. You know what I mean? You know I got a lot more coming soon. I got a hydrating mist spray coming soon, a shampoo and conditioner, a pomade. 
you know, for those that like the comb overs or the pompadours or even waves, you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot more products coming soon. So I appreciate everybody that's supporting my movement because, you know, my goal is to put out nothing but quality. So stay tuned for that. And I got two questions. Uh, what do I ask my barber to get a fresh cut like yours? And do you braid your own hair? Yeah, basically, uh, you can just tell your barber, you know, you want to keep the top, you know, as long as possible. And if they got to, you know, just have them trim the ends. If you got split ends, you know, a lot of people get split ends. If you have longer hair, you can get like a taper or you can get a, a mid fade, which is pretty much what I rock, but whatever suits you. And uh, a lot of people ask too, what's the difference between a, a taper and a fade? A uh, taper is just the corner. So basically on a temple, which is why they call it the temp fade, just on the corner of the sideburns. And uh, the back neck area, which is your nape area. And a fade is anything behind the ear being faded. Another thing too, you can actually screenshot, you know, any haircut or style you like it to show your barber. That's, you know, my best recommendation for that. And uh, do you braid your own hair? I actually don't. I wish I did. You know, I wish I could have uh, like mastered that, you know, that skill, but I haven't really tried to learn like that. One of these days, you know, I'm gonna learn how to braid my own hair, but I get it braided, you know, by my lady or, you know, I'll probably have a, uh, my sister do it or somebody, but, you know, mainly my lady does it. And it's quick, you know, it takes about five minutes just to, you know, braid your hair real quick. And uh, how tall are you, man? I'm actually six foot five. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, I'm a uh, 5'11", just a little bit under six feet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just under that six feet mark, what up? And next question is, uh, how often should I use the CP cream a week? And you can actually use it every day. You know, I recommend it every day. Cause it's not made with you know all those harmful ingredients. It's like taking you know vitamins for your body. You know you want to style your hair with uh, CP cream daily. So make sure you damp your hair with water and uh, apply a good amount, which is about two scoops, depending on your hair length. You know my hair length, I use you know two to four scoops. All right, when did you start cutting hair? Uh, second, what is your fitness physique that you want? And I uh, started cutting hair, you know my own hair when I was about 16. So that was about 10 years ago. You know, cutting others hair really about five. Uh, the physique that I want, I would say, you know, I want to be as full as possible, but still look athletic. You know what I mean? All right, this one says rise and grind, rise and grind. Aniko, question: Will you ever do a gym tutorial? And are you Polynesian? Uh, your hair always looks super clean and crisp. Huge fan from New Zealand, South Auckland, parts moral You know, my mom's from Guam, so I'm Pacific Islander. Really, I got family Polynesian. You know? Yeah, I definitely want to put up some. Uh, some gym tutorials, so I appreciate the request. All right, have you ever played any sports in your life? And if so, which ones? And which is your favorite? P.S. Love your vids, brother. Keep up the grind. Yeah, definitely a big sports fan. But I'll say the favorite out of my two, definitely basketball. I would, I would love to play basketball. I used to play for hours every day. Hey Nico, how do you stay so motivated even when things might go bad? It's a really good question. The way I stay so motivated, man, is you know I don't surround myself with nobody that'll bring me down, period. Because I know there's people that want to see me fail. I know there's people that can't wait for my downfall. And basically you want to cut you know, all negative energy loose. When you're worried if things might go bad or you know, you're worried if things might not go your way. That's when uh, you're putting fear before uh, you know, your why. You know, your why has got to be bigger than you know, fear, your why's gotta be bigger than your haters, you know, your why's gotta be bigger than, you know, any kind of doubt. You gotta hear what I'm telling you. If y'all gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. When, when he comes out, he ain't tripping on LeBron. He, ain't, he don't care nothing about no Dwayne Wade. All he keep thinking about is, I'm gonna get one for my coach. The reason why I wanna be successful, man, is because I wanna make sure you know, my loved ones and family is well taken care of. So, uh, you know, wake up motivated, wake up inspired, and just think about your future. You know, always think about, you know, how you plan your life, how you want your life to be. You know, imagine, you know, you gotta dream it. And if you could dream it and you could think it, you know, you could achieve it. I never thought, you know, one day I would have my own hair product, you know what I mean? And I'm actually building a whole product line now. You know, everything I'm doing, you know, it all starts here. So, um, you know, train your mind and think positive about everything. Even when times get hard and you gotta, you gotta realize, you know, you ain't waking up in a cell. You ain't going to sleep in a coffin. No matter what, man, everybody has the same 24 hours. You know, it's all about what you do with it. Every morning when I get up, man, I like watching uh, Les Brown. Uh, you can either live your dreams or live your fears. You have got to get to a point where you say, I'm sick and tired of living like this. There's gotta be more. That's, see, that's when people go out and, and strike out on their dreams. 
That's when people get out of relationships where they're dying together rather than growing together. Your haters are your biggest motivators. <laughs> stay focused out there, man. All these questions, man. Gotta stay hydrated. Uh, what kind of music do you work out to and what music motivates you in the gym? Uh, the music I work out to is, I listen to everything, man. I listen to, honestly, everything, except, you know, country. I don't, you know, to those that like country, you know, my fault. I just I just can't rock with it in the gym. But yeah, lately, I've just been on my old school tip, man. I've just been on, you know, some of that old school Nas, you know, Biggie, uh, Tupac, and even uh, some house music. You know, I like something that'll just get me pumped, too. I hope you guys enjoyed that Q&A. Plenty more on the way, so stay tuned. Stay blessed.